Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to share your printer on the Windows 10 network, especially after Microsoft has decided to pull away the home group. Um, if you don't know who I am, if you're new to this channel, I recently made a couple of videos on how to share a complete drive and also how to share some files and folders within your home network um, ever since the home group was removed and uh, the videos were received quite well. So. Um, Thank you very much for watching and commenting and uh, I'm grateful that I helped a lot of people. I'm also very grateful for those who bought me a cup of coffee. So um, it makes me want to do more videos like this. So uh, let's get started with the, the, the printer sharing and um, go from there. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, is just click on your start button and then go up to settings. When you enter the settings pane, just go to devices. And then on the left hand side, you'll see printers and scanners. Go ahead and click that. And then on the right hand side, you'll see a list of printers and scanners. Now, my one is the Canon TS. In your situation, it might be some, something else like a HP or whatever, Brother, Epson, whatever printer you may have. Just make, check your name against the badge on your printer itself. And then uh, click, on, click on the actual printer. Then uh, go down and select Manage. Once you're in this page, uh, just scroll down and have a look at Printer Properties and go ahead and click that. And uh, in this Properties pane, you just want to go up to the top on the second tab and click on Sharing. And then you go down and select Change Sharing Options, which will open up another Properties window. And then you just simply tick that little box where it says Share this printer. Now, you can also give this printer a name to make it more recognizable on the network. So, uh, in my situation, I'm just going to type in uh, Canon printer on desktop, just so the rest of the family knows which one it is. And uh, if you do have any computers in the house that are 32-bit or even ARM64 powered, uh, which will be tablets or Windows S devices, then you can select the boxes to um, add additional drivers but uh, most computers are 64 bits so you can just leave that as it is and uh, then you just click OK and um, that's it um, as far as the initial sharing goes that's all you have to do and uh, we'll move on to the laptop now and show you how to access this printer from the laptop Okay, so now we're on my laptop and uh, on the laptop side of things all you have to do is just open up some sort of a program that enables you to print. In my situation I'll just fire up Notepad since everybody has it and just type something in just for the sake of printing and uh, let's go to file and go down to print and check out our network printer. Okay, so you can see the second one on the in the box there is the TS6000 series on desktop MLR TJNO, which is my desktop computer. But uh, in some situations, it may not show initially. In that case, you need to click on Find Printer, and then that'll show you your network computers. And you just double click on the network computer, and then you'll see Canon printer on desktop exactly as I typed it in the desktop before I tapped on that little share icon. Um, and once you select it, it'll show up, and then you can go ahead and print. So um, just click on print or apply, either way it'll work. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If uh, this hasn't worked in your situation, you're welcome to watch a few of my previous videos that I had uh, about the home group sharing and sharing on D drive. You may need to enable some features like um, a private network, make sure that both computers are on the private network. Uh, also, I'll just, I'll link them in the description below anyway. And um, also, you may need file and printer sharing activated on both devices. So that's pretty much it. This was uh, pretty easy, much easier than the rest of the sharing stuff. So um, I hope it helps you out and uh, you enjoy this video. So um, thanks for watching once again. Until next time.